Central Lafouge decided to play their game last night, was scheduled to be played tonight. Ponchatoula could get away, something I did not know actually when I was doing radio last night for the E.D. White Vanderbilt game. Bobby Arsenal let me in on this, and I knew he was around, but I didn't know where. Hank Tyranny is the head coach at Ponchatoula. Hank Tyranny was a terrific coach over at Shaw. They had kind of a falling out. He went to West it's Jeff just... for a while. He ended up at Ponchatoula, and last year I saw that Ponchatoula made a vast improvement. They were, they were pretty good last year, and they yeah. hadn't been in a while. And I started wondering what the deal was. Well, when I heard it was Hank Tyranny, I started to understand just a little bit. And I got to tell you, folks, they came in last night to Matthews, and uh, they played pretty well. Let's get out to the stadium out there. Travis Douglas's first game as head coach and here is the trojan band before the game as the trojans break through again this was last night once again those teams who decided to play last night really smart move really smart move jeremiah ballard sacked by a host of guys from ponchatoula now look central lafouche moved the ball last night they did some good things last night they just not in a situation of finishing drives and that kind of cost them ponchatoula uh, made them uh, pay when they didn't finish those drives. Actually, Ponchatoula turned the ball over quite a bit last night, too. And unfortunately, folks, there is uh, not a whole lot of names on our roster. Uh, we don't have anything from Ponchatoula on here. So, uh, again, this is all in the first half of this game. When all of the games were rescheduled last night with the shortage of camera people getting around, we were kind of put in a different world by the way thanks for coming in tonight because this helps a whole lot <laughs> usually we have this big agenda of what we're going to go over and everything <laughs> not tonight we're flying by the seat of our pants and just hoping we're not going to get our pants wet Pontchatoula 35 Central Lafouche 10 again Central Lafouche moved the ball they just could not get it in the end zone and that cost them in the long run Jeremiah Ballard had 86 yards rushing on 14 carries Central moved the ball again. Like we said, they were down big and had to revert to the uh, passing attack, and it just well, didn't pay off for them. Homer Christian, in their first game ever in the Louisiana High School Athletic Association this afternoon, lost to False River 34-14. to Good effort. False River has been around for a long, long time, and uh, Homer Christian was competitive in that game. That game actually started at 5 o'clock. You're going to see Central Lafouche a little bit later in the year, so that's a team that you have to worry about in your district, and Travis is going to do a good job with that team, oh, good definitely. defensive coach. Uh, you were there at one time when you were starting a new program and what it takes and stuff. Do you remember the first team you played when you took over at Terrebonne? Sure do. Who was it? Jamboree or the first actual game? The Jamborees don't count. I'm, jamboree. It counts because I'll never forget it. <laughs> okay, who'd you play in the Jamboree? Bourgeois. And? 56 to nothing. Won or lost? Lost. So it, we, we, we turn around next week. You learned from it? Under. So you learned from it? I learned quick. Yeah. Okay, look, you're 6-0 oh in district last year, and you win the district, so that's a good thing. I just I, I get on that kick about people taking jamborees too seriously. But I understand what you mean now. It's just something yeah. you'll always It's just one of those remember. things where it just kind of went south in a hurry. But, you know, we got better through the year. That is your arch rival, too. So that mm -hmm. makes it a little tougher to start off your first coaching experience with your true arch rival, both on the west side of Homa. Yeah, that makes it really, really tough. <laughs> Here we go, a game that was played tonight. Speaking of your arch rival, H.L. Bourgeois taking on Clark. I saw the fourth, first quarter of this and said, I need to get out of here <laughs> because <laughs> it was it was wet, folks. H.L. Uh, Bourgeois needed a big win tonight. There were more cheerleaders on the track than there were people in the stands. Trust me on that because I counted. There were 14 people in the stands. Here is Clark, and Clark really got handled by Central Lafouche in the scrimmage, so I wasn't expecting much. But they get the ball and go right down the field, get inside the 10-yard line of H.L. Bourgeois, but they turn it over on downs. H.L. Bourgeois gets the ball, goes nowhere, and they end up having to punt. When they punt the ball, it is blocked by Clark, and it is blocked deep in territory, and Clark actually gets the ball in the end zone. Uh, after the game was over, uh, I called Joe Raleigh just to see, because Joe went work the game tonight for H.L. Bourgeois helping out, and he said it was sloppy, 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 but Clark had two kids who could really play, a, a running back and a quarterback, and he said in conditions like this, it was a big equalizer. Not a lot of offense early on, then in Clark scores, they're at eight. H.L. Bourgeois scores, they're at eight. Clark goes up 14, 
H.L. Bourgeois comes back 14 and with a minute left in the game, folks, H.L. Bourgeois scores and they win. First game for Ben Powell and first victory for Ben Powell. Congratulations to him. They win that one 20 to 14. HL Bourgeois will be taking on Ellender next week. That'll be at Tom B. Smith Stadium. And St. James goes down to West St. John. That game actually went in overtime. And obviously, it's important that we note that all of the games in the state of Louisiana, uh, nah, let's rephrase that. The southern part of Louisiana were played in driving rains tonight. I don't think St. James is going to be quite as good as they have been in the past. Got to take another timeout. When we come back, going to see another team from your district. And your very good friend, who was your offensive coordinator, is now the head coach here, Chris Dugas. Thibodeau almost pulled it out last night, but not quite. We'll look at highlights from the Higgins-Thibodeau game after this timeout.